Hey gang, Tim here at Corel Electronics, and today I'll show you a cure trick I use to print scale models without losing detail. So let me outline the situation. Sometimes you come across an impressively detailed computer model scaled to the correct size, and you go to yourself, I want to 3D print that. So you throw it into your favorite CAD, and you export it out as an STL, throw it into your favorite slicer. And as you can see, it's way too large already. So you bring it down to size so that way it fits in your bed. In this case, we're going to go all the way down to 14. And you can see all the little detail is still there. And you keep scaling and scaling it until some of the walls end up very thin. Too thin for even an extruder to actually represent the model, as the walls of the model are too thin for the diameter hole of the extruder nozzle. The nozzle is the limiting factor in regards to the thinness of an extruded material when 3D printing. Thus, when you slice highly detailed models scaled down, large portions of the subject are neglected as the slicer deems it impossible to replicate that section. Exactly this problem can be seen over here. I start spinning around the model. You can see the whole exhaust system has been neglected along with a whole bunch of other sections. So what is the solution to this? The hardware side of it can be altered, running a smaller nozzle diameter to create thinner lengths of material that can fix this issue. Then you could tell the slicer all about the new hardware and then it will adjust accordingly. Or if you're interested mainly in the surface of the object being correct and the internals of the subject not necessarily requiring perfect dimensionality, then the trick is to use the surface mode option and overlay two versions of your subject and tinker with the settings between this version and that version. Surface mode is a setting you can find in Cura underneath special modes that allows the model to be printed as a surface only, a volume or volumes with loose surfaces. There are three available settings which correlate to these three options and they are normal, surface and both. If we were to make a scale model with normal then we would lose all the finer details like we can see happening here However, if we choose to create this model with surface and then re-slice it, you can see now it is completely hollow inside, but all the outside detail has been captured. Now what's going on is that what is deemed as the outside surface is now perfectly being represented. You can see all the spoke details, all the exhaust system, all the piping, all of that has been captured in the slicing program. Now, from personal experience, both does not actually seem to do both. Now let me demonstrate this workflow process in Cura. So, here is the motorcycle model with the special mode setting currently set to normal. What I'm going to do is right click this model and click multiply selected model. Now it's going to ask me how many models I'd like to multiply. I'm going to say one please. Now there you can see another exact replica of my model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go over to this. Now this lets me decide where it exists. So I can just drag it and drag it over the top but you'd have to do it perfectly accurately. So the better way of doing it is by changing the numbers over here. So now I have two models of the exact same thing perfectly over the top of each other. And when you do this you kind of get these blue, shiny, shimmery things. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here and click this button. Now this button lets you decide options for one particular model on your setting, which can be different than all the other, all the other options. So we're going to select the setting that we want to see over here, which in this case is surface mode. By clicking here, Pressing close, you can now see surface mode is available for us here. So normal and normal, but that's what it is currently, but I want this one to be surface. So now I've done all the setting up, we're going to press slice. And then by clicking on preview, we can see that the we have now a slicer CAD file, which has made one of the models be surface only and the other model be normal. This results in a print which is both externally dimensionally correct and also has enough strength for the real world. When it comes to actually printing this motorcycle, 
it was laid down on its side and a large amount of support material was used. As you can see in the actual Cura file I used to print this motorcycle. I use CPE transparent as a material for its strength properties, but it is also a material prone to stringing. There is always finesse in refining a 3D printer, particularly for when using a new material, and I have a ways to go with CPE transparent. Dissolving the PVA was a particularly magical moment. Also, I experimented with not using an U shield as I considered the amount of PVA support would take over the role of that job. However, the lack of protection affected the results of the handlebars and the footrests. Both required post-processing to repair. But hopefully this demonstrates to you how close we are to FDM printing large scale models. The press play, wait, and there it is. It's, it's just so close. All this print requires was a little bit of tuning and then it would be ripe and ready for some proper painting. In fact, the limiting factor currently is me. Oh great 3D printing gods, please let me 3D print just a little bit better. Please. Anyhow, big thanks goes to Camille Azikulov and the GrabCAD community. He is truly a prodigy of a 3D modeler, which truly he's created the greatest CAD model of the bro superior available online. These models coming out of Uzbekistan and Ukraine are truly extraordinary. The CAD designers over there are beyond impressive and the fact that they provide heaps and heaps of models for free is a true, true, true form of perfection. Cheers, mate. Anyhow, I hope this has inspired you to get out there and search for some amazing CAD files and just give it a go trying to 3D print it. I know I will be refining my techniques over here. If you enjoy our content and want to see more, come like and subscribe. And with that, until next time, stay cozy.